prime factorization is breaking the fact, uh, the factors into prime numbers. So this is the most simplified form. We cannot break three even further because three itself is a prime number. <laughs>
so root 2 is something which is not can be observed uh, in a natural environment so root 2 is not a natural number so natural number are 1 2 3 and so on and it's a very interesting thing 0 0 is not a natural number it, 0 is not a natural number natural numbers are 1 2 3 and so on whole number whole number is a set of natural number plus element 0 right natural numbers are 1 2 3 4 including 0 so whole numbers are 0 1 2 so on even and odd number so even number are those which are multiple of 2 like 0 2 4 6 8 these all are multiple of 2 so these all are even numbers and odd numbers are 1 3 5 7 9 these are odd numbers right these are not uh, divide uh, yeah, multiple of 2 uh, they cannot be perfectly divided by 2 that's why they are odd numbers so half of natural number is even number half of natural number is odd number every uh, not consecutive uh, one after every an odd number is also an odd number let us say one is an odd number so next consecutive number is two which is not an odd number and then uh, uh, one after the odd, odd number that is one after that three is another odd number right so every second number in that uh, number line is an odd number and every second number in number line is also an even number when we start from zero every second number is an even number when we start from one every second number is an odd number then prime numbers and composite number prime numbers i hope we all know all these things these things are very elementary we study all these things in fifth and sixth class and just providing a brief definition if someone forgot what these all numbers are so prime numbers are number who does not have any factor any factor except one and number itself and number itself it does not have any other factor let us say we have a number 11 right so 11 is only divided by 1 and 11 any other number smaller than 11 cannot divide 11 completely well we can say if we divide 11 by 2 we get 5.5 but it is not a complete division we get some reminder we get some remainder here and the remainder when divided by 2 will be 1 so 2 does not divide completely 11 so that's why 2 is not a factor of 11 so 11 only has two factors 1 and the number 11 itself so we can say since there are only two factors of 11 11 is a prime number right prime number Prime number are those numbers who only have two factors, one and the number itself. And all other numbers which are not prime number are composite number. Obviously, either a number can be a prime number or a composite number. These are mutually exclusive groups. So composite number, we can write very simply, all numbers that are not prime. all numbers that are not prime are composite numbers very simple thing then decimal decimal is also a very simple thing decimal numbers are those decimal numbers are any number which have a decimal place a very simple thing just like 5.2 is a decimal number because it has a decimal if we say 5 5 is a natural number it does not uh, it does not have any decimal place in it and integers let me remove this thing. Integers. Integers are number when both positive and negative sign is introduced with the number. Let us say when we know 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. This is a whole number series. If we take negative of whole number, then we will get minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So this whole complete series from 0 to infinity 
and from minus infinity to zero, this whole complete thing is integer. Right? When we introduce negative sign, when we introduce negative sign in our natural number, uh, sorry, in our whole number, then the number system, the number line we got, that is an integer number line. So these are very basic things that we done, what we do in our primary and secondary schools. I'm just doing it one more for revision purposes. So factor of a number, this is also a very simple thing. Factor of a number, let us say we take a number 13. We'll take number 21. Right, we take any random number. So factor of a number is any number which is smaller than a given number. Let n for definition purpose, any number n, any number which is smaller than n. any number which is smaller than n and divides n right any number that is smaller than n and that divides n is a factor of n so by going through that thing we know we have 20 numbers that are smaller than 21 from 1 to 20 we have numbers 1 to 20, which are smaller than 21. And only 1, 3, 7 divides 21. And obviously, obviously, the number itself also divides itself. Smaller than n, smaller than or equal to. Smaller than or equal to n. So, first of all, one to twenty-one. We have twenty-one numbers that are smaller than or equal to twenty-one, and one, three, seven, and twenty-one. These are the only four numbers smaller than or equal to twenty-one that divides twenty-one. Right? Mm -hmm. Going through these two def these two points of the definition, we can say that 1, 3, 7, 21 are factors of 21. It, we can see this. Simply we can see this. So this is where the real stuff of CSAT had started. So after this point, we can say this is direct, uh, uh, that this is the direct topic and question based on this HCF LCM directly come into our question paper. So what is an HCF? HCF is the highest common factor or greatest common divisor. Right. So HCF can be between two numbers, three numbers, four numbers, any set of number greater than or equal to two, greater than or equal to two numbers. I mean, HCF can be between two number, three number, four number, so on. Right. So HCF, is, so what is the HCF is? By definition, by the name itself, it is very clear. It is highest common factor. Let us say if we are taking, let's not complicate the thing. Let us say, let us say, we have three numbers. So HCF of these three numbers will be the largest factor common to all three numbers. We need to find the largest factor that is common to all three numbers. That means the largest number, the largest number that can perfectly divide all the three numbers. That will be the HCF three number. So mathematically, it is very simple thing to prove. Not to prove, not to, uh, the simple method, how to find the HCF. It is a very simple thing. Let us take 21 and 35. Right. Let us say these are two numbers. So prime factorization of this, I used on the term, term here, prime factorization. So what is prime factorization? I hope we all know all the this, all these things. What is a factor? What is a prime factorization? I am just going through this in class. So if someone has forgot all those factors, all those things, so he can remember them. 
so prime factorization is uh, dividing the factors of the number into prime numbers that means it cannot be more simplified or most uh, that can be even more further uh, can be represented as multiple of two numbers the most simplified form of any number in terms of prime numbers is prime factorization of that number simply means uh, taking all the factors and uh, dividing them into the prime numbers let us say 21 21 has how many factors does 21 have 21 have 1 3 7 and 21 itself right so 21 can be written as 1 into 3 into 7 we are not taking 21 because 21 is not a prime number prime factorization in prime factorization we only take uh, factors which are prime numbers so 21 is not a prime number and for 35 we know factors of 35 are 1 5 7 8 35 8 right? so in prime factorization we only consider the factors which are prime number 5 7 so hcf will be the factor common to both the number and the number that is the largest number so clearly so clearly it means we need to find the common factors the common numbers in the prime factorization and we have to take the consideration in all the common factors that come in all the numbers that uh, for which the hcf needed to be find so here we have a, a common factor 7 and 1 right 3 we do not have 3 over here and 5 we does not have 5 over here so our common factorization is this that means the hcf is 7 right so this is the standard method how do we find hcf of two number what we have taken i'll repeat the whole process again what we have done initially uh, i assume we have two numbers 21 and 35 and what we need to do we need to find hcf of these two numbers so what we did we did the prime factorization of both the numbers prime factorization is taking the factors of the number only considering the prime num the prime factors of them so in 21 there are three prime factors 1 3 and 5 and in 35 there are three prime factors 1 5 and 7 then we consider the factors which are common to both the factorization so in both the factorization we have factor 7 common only on only factor 7 and 1 common so one does not consider because if you multiply any number by 1 so if we get the same number so uh, we have factor of 7 common so that's why our hcf is 7 over here right i hope it's clear to everyone so let us take a little bit complicated question to enhance our understanding of prime factors so our question is this so we need to find hcf of three numbers so we will start with prime factorization so in 150 the prime factors are 2 into 3 into 5 into 5 right this is the prime factorization of 150 2 110 its prime factors will be 2 into 3 into 5 into 7 in 375 the prime factorization will be 3 into 5 into 5 into 5 right so these are the prime factorization of the three number that are provided to us now we have to find the hcf and it is very simple we just have to take consider the factor that is common in all the three prime factorization and multiplying the common factors we will get the hcf it's a very simple thing so let us consider here we have to here we have to here we do not have to so two cannot be uh, taken into account for hcf here we have three here we have three here we have three so this is our first common factor 3 then we have 5 5 5 right we have 1 5 common and in this uh, 120 prime factorization we know that 5 is only occurring single time so we cannot take another 5 over here because we does not have any second 5 over here in the prime factorization of 220 so this 5 is cannot be considered 7 7 we do not have in this and this as well so this is the only two factors that are common in prime factorization of our three numbers so hcf will be this that is 15 right i hope it is clear it is a very simple thing i'll repeat this thing again don't worry so what i am saying is we started with prime factorization of the all three numbers 
prime factorization is breaking the fact uh, the factors into prime numbers so this is the most simplified form we cannot break 3 even further because 3 itself is a prime number so it does not have any other factor other than 3 and 1 right so this is prime factorization of the three number then we have taken the common factors then we have taken the common factors and in all the three uh, prime factorization three and five are the common factors three and five right so this is our hcf three into five because we have only two factors and multiplying that we will get 15 which is our prime factor uh, hcf i hope hcf is clear now lcm lcm is least common multiple least common multiple so it is the smallest multiple of all the numbers provided to us right it is the smallest multiple multiple multi what is multiple multiple is any number which uh, which can be divided by a given number in uh, perfect form i mean to say let us say 35 and 7 we know that 35 divided by 7 is equal to 5 that is 7 divides 5 completely so we can say that 7 oh sorry 35 is a multiple of 7 so 35 is a multiple of 7 since 7 divides 35 completely just for instance if we take 8 35 by 8 when we do we does not get a complete number what we will get is uh, 4, uh, 4 point something right we will get 4 point something it is a decimal number it does not get a complete number that's why we can say 35 is not a multiple of 8 because 8 does not divide 35 completely so that is a multiple so least common multiple of numbers is a number that is the smallest number which is multiple of all the given numbers so right so if we have to find multi uh, least common multiple of some numbers it is a very simple thing again let us start with two numbers 12 and 15 so if we have to find lcm of 12 and 15 what we will do over here we can write 12 in prime factorization form we can write at 3 into 4 and we know that 4 is not a prime number so we will uh, fragment it even further to make it more simplified 4 can be written as 2 into 2 right so we will write is 2 into 2 into 3 2 into 2 into 3 So this is prime factorization of 12 and prime factorization of 15 is 3 into 5. So in LCM what we have to do, we have to take care that all the factors of all the numbers exactly uh, appeared at least the same number of time that is now appearing in the prime factorization. So what is a complicated okay? So simple bhaja mein bolte hai. Humne jaise do number liye yaha pe. Do number ka humne prime factorization likha. अब इनका अगर हमें एलसीएम निकालना है तो हमें क्या करना होगा हमको इंश्योर करना है कि जो जो फैक्टर्स यहां पे आ रहे हैं वो फैक्टर्स हमारे एलसीएम में भी आने चाहिए और उतनी बार आने चाहिए कम से कम उतनी बार आने चाहिए जितनी बार यहां पे आ रहे हैं कम से कम मैंने क्यों बोला बिकॉज़ वी कैन सी द फैक्टर 2 फैक्टर 2 इज कमिंग हियर टू टाइम्स सो दिस फैक्टर 2 दैट इज कमिंग टू टाइम्स ये दो बारी यहां एलसीएम में भी आना चाहिए कम से कम है ना तो हम इसमें लिखेंगे 2 into 2 2 into 2, because this is two times, so this is also two times. And then we have 3, 3 is only coming one time over here and only coming one time over here. So we can write 3 here and then 5. 5 is only coming, appearing in this prime factorization only once. So we will write this 5. So this is the LCM. This is the LCM uh, of this number. These two numbers, this is the LCM. What did we do in this? Very simply, I will tell you. We have two numbers, we have a prime factorization. Nikala. Then what we have done? Then we have considered the frequency. थोड़ा इसको simple बोलते हैं और simple बोलते हैं। ये जितनी बार यहाँ पे एक कोई भी factor जितनी बार वो आया, उतनी बार हमने उसको यहाँ पे भी लिख दिया। जैसे two यहाँ पे दो बार आया, तो हमने दो बार two लिख दिया। एक बार three यहाँ है, एक बार three यहाँ है, तो हमने एक ही बार लिखना है, कि हमने एक बार three यहाँ पे लिख दिया। Five एक ही बार आ रहा है, तो हमने five एक ही बार लिख दिया। अब इसको हम if we multiply this thing, we will get sixty. So sixty is the LCM of fifteen or twelve. So what it means? 
60 is the smallest multiple that is common to both 12 and 15. मतलब 12 पे हमने सारे मल्टीपल लिए 15 के हमने सारे मल्टीपल लिए तो 60 वो सबसे छोटा नंबर है जो दोनों का मल्टीपल होगा और वो एल सी एम है राइट सो हैव आई होप इट इज क्लियर आई हैव प्रोवाइडेड दिस थिंग इन अ वेरी सिंपल फॉर्म सो एज आई वॉज सेंग इन अलियर स्लाइड ऑल्सो एल सी एम इन एच सी एफ आर टॉपिक दैट आर डायरेक्टली आस इन द क्वेश्चन डायरेक्टली आस एस क्वेश्चन इन द क्वेश्चन पेपर सो लेट एस लुक एट सम प्रीवियस ईयर को अच्छा ओके फर्स्ट लेट एस डू एन एक्सरसाइज अगेन लेट एस फाइंड एल सी एम ऑफ दीज थ्री नंबर वी विल डू द सेम थिंग वी विल स्टार्ट विथ प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन एट वी कैन राइट एट लाइक दिस ट्वेल्व वी कैन राइट एज And fifteen, we can write as right. Up, what we have to do for LCM, we have to write all the factors of there, there. So, यहाँ पे दो जो है, अब इसमें देखिए बड़ी मस्त बात, बढ़िया सी एक बात है कि इसमें जो दो फैक्टर है, वो तीन बार आ रहे हैं, और twelve में जो दो फैक्टर है, वो दो बार आ रहे हैं. तो LCM में हम जैसे इसमें तीन बार आ रहे हैं, eight में दो फैक्टर ऑफ टू जो तीन बार आया है तो हमको कम से कम तीन बार इसमें टू लिखना ही पड़ेगा क्योंकि तो यहां पे तीन बार आया है ये सिंस दिस नंबर हैव टू बी अ मल्टीपल ऑफ एट सो सिंस एट हैज थ्री टाइम्स टू इन द प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन सो वी हैव टू राइट थ्री टाइम्स टू इन द एल सी एम ऑल्सो एंड देन थ्री थ्री इज ओनली कमिंग वन टाइम एंड वन टाइम इन ट्वेल्व एंड फिफ्टीन सो वील राइट थ्री ओनली वन एंड फाइव फाइव इज ऑल्सो अपियरिंग ओनली फॉर वन टाइम Right, and when we multiply this thing, this is one. So LCM of these three number is one twenty. Right. So this is a previous year question. What I was saying, the application of LCM and LCM we directly asked in the question paper. So I think this is not clear. I'll read it. I'll read it. No issue. So the question is. Question is saying in a school, every student is assigned a unique identification number. A student is a football player if and only if the identification number is divisible by four. Whereas student is a cricketer if and only if the identification number is divisible by six. If every number from one to hundred is assigned to a student. One two hundred assigned to a student. Then how many of them can play cricket as well as football? This is a very very simple question. This was asked in two thousand nineteen. I'll repeat the question again. In a school, every student is assigned a unique identification number. A student is a football player if and only if his identification number is divisible by four. Four se agar divide hoga, so he is a football player. Hai. And a cricketer only if identification number is divided by six. He is a cricketer. If the identification number is divided by six, and randomly we assign numbers from one to hundred to all the students, then we have to find out how many of them play cricket as well as football. So this is a very simple question. What we need have to need to do? First, we have to find the LCM of four and six, right? So because in this, the LCM will be the that number that is the two multiple. And we have to find such numbers. अब इसमें सिंपल भाषा में हम बोलें तो जो फोर के मल्टीपल हैं मल्टीपल ऑफ फोर वो फुटबॉलर्स होंगे और जो सिक्स के मल्टीपल हैं मल्टीपल ऑफ सिक्स वो क्रिकेटर होंगे अब हमको इन दोनों सेट में से कॉमन निकालने कि कितने कॉमन है वी हैव टू फाइंड हाउ मेनी ऑफ देम कितने जो हैं दोनों खेलते हैं तो हम कह सकते हैं जो एल होगा फोर और सिक्स का वो वो सबसे छोटा नंबर होगा जो दोनों खेलते होंगे वो नंबर जिसको असाइन होगा वो स्टूडेंट दोनों चीजें खेलते होंगे क्रिकेट और फुटबॉल तो जो इनके मल्टीपल आएगा एल सी एम ऑफ फोर एंड सिक्स का जो मल्टीपल होगा मल्टीपल्स जो होंगे सॉरी मल्टीपल्स फोर के मल्टीपल सिक्स के मल्टीपल और इनके एल के जो मल्टीपल्स होंगे ये खेलेंगे बोथ क्रिकेट में सिंबल बोथ क्रिकेट प्लस फुटबॉल राइट जो इनका एलसीएम आएगा अब बहुत सिंपल सी चीज है 
फोर और सिक्स का एलसीएम निकालना है फोर के लिए हम लिखेंगे टू इंटू टू सिक्स के लिए हम लिखेंगे टू इंटू थ्री तो इनका एलसीएम क्या आएगा एलसीएम के लिए हम लिखेंगे टू इंटू टू इंटू थ्री दैट इज ट्वेल्व तो इनका एलसीएम ट्वेल्व है सो so, इसकी जगह हम सीधा ट्वेल्व लिख देते हैं सो एलसीएम ट्वेल्व है तो जो ट्वेल्व के मल्टीपल्स होंगे मल्टीपल्स जो ट्वेल्व होंगे वो वाले स्टूडेंट होंगे क्रिकेट और फुटबॉल खेलते हैं तो हमको देखना है अब इतना सारा करके वट वी केम टू द कंक्लूजन नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स दैट प्लेइंग बोथ क्रिकेट एज वेल फुटबॉल आर नंबर ऑफ मल्टीपल ऑफ ट्वेल्व इन वन टू हंड्रेड ये हमें फाइंड आउट करना है दिस इज नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स प्लेइंग बोथ Playing both schools, है ना जैसे ट्वेल्व एक नंबर किसी को असाइन होगा तो वो दोनों खेल रहा होगा फुटबॉल और क्रिकेट अब जो ट्वेल्व के मल्टीपल्स में जिसको असाइन होते रहेंगे ट्वेल्व के मल्टीपल भी दोनों को डिवाइड करेंगे फोर और सिक्स को दैट साइड जो भी ट्वेल्व के मल्टीपल में जिनको असाइन होते रहेंगे वो जो है दोनों स्पोर्ट्स खेलेंगे तो हमको बस इतना फाइंड आउट करना है अब सिंपल सी चीज़ है नंबर ऑफ मल्टीपल ऑफ ट्वेल्व इन वन टू हंड्रेड एकदम सिंपल सी चीज़ है इसको हम एक लाइन में ऐसे लिखते हैं हमें फाइंड क्या करना है मल्टीपल ऑफ ट्वेल्व इन वन टू हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व का टेबल शुरू करते हैं ट्वेल्व ट्वेंटी फोर थर्टी सिक्स फोर्टी एट सिक्सटी सेवेंटी टू एटी फोर नाइन्टी सिक्स इससे करेंगे तो फिर हंड्रेड से पार आ जाएगा जो कि आखिरी है एक दो तीन चार पाँच छः सात आठ so we know that we have eight numbers which are multiple of 12 and those are smaller than 100 so we have eight numbers so that means we have eight students only that will be playing both cricket and football so the answer here will be c eight right so eight is our answer eight number eight are the students that are playing both cricket as well next question this is saying what is the smallest number greater than 1000 when divided by any one of the number 6 9 12 15 18 leaves a remainder 3 this was asked in csi 2022 i'll read the question again what is the smallest number greater than 1000 that when divided by any one of the numbers 6 9 12 15 and 18 leave a remainder of 3 right to is par ekdam seedhi bhasha mein bolte hain isne bola 1000 se sabse bada 1000 se bada सबसे छोटा नंबर हमको ढूंढना है जो इन पांच नंबर से हम डिवाइड करें तो एग्जैक्टली exactly हमारा जो रिमाइंडर है वो थ्री आए बड़ा सिंपल सा क्वेश्चन है इसमें हमें करना क्या वी नो दैट लेट अस टेक अ सिंगल नंबर सिक्स सो वी नो दैट इन सिक्स सो वी नो दैट मल्टीपल ऑफ सिक्स मल्टीपल ऑफ सिक्स इफ यू टेक एनी मल्टीपल ऑफ सिक्स एड थ्री टू दैट If we take any multiples of six and add three to that, so the number that we got will show a remainder of three when divided by six. A very obvious thing, a very basic thing. If we take any multiple of six, let us say we take six into four plus three. This is our number. Six into four is the multiple of three, and we add three to that. If if we divide six, then we will get uh, six by six is one. Four plus three by six, right? Canceling six by six with there, and then we're writing three by six. So this is clear that there is a remainder of three when we divide any multiple of six plus addition of three to that number. Right? And this is same for all the numbers, है ना? If we take nine, we then we take any multiple of nine, and then we add three to that number, then we will also get a remainder of three when divided by nine. This thing is true for all the numbers. So when we, so we can say We need to find a number that is multiple of all these number. That is a multiple of all these number, and that number should be greater than thousand. And uh, that should be the smallest number that is multiple of all the them, and that should be greater than thousand. And then when we then have to add three to that number, then what we get is the required result. Simple thing. चीज़ है मैं इसको हिंदी में बोल देता हूँ. हमको क्या करना है? हमको वो सबसे छोटा नंबर निकालना है जो इन पांच नंबर्स का मल्टीपल होगा सबसे छोटा नंबर जो इन पांच नंबर्स का मल्टीपल होगा 
और हजार से बड़ा होना चाहिए वो और फिर जब उसको हम इन पांचों से डिवाइड सॉरी फिर उसमें हम थ्री ऐड कर देंगे कि हमको जो रिमाइंडर थ्री चाहिए तो हम उसमें जो है थ्री ऐड कर देंगे फिर उस नंबर को अगर हमने पांचों से डिवाइड किया तो, तो हमको रिमाइंडर हमेशा तीन ही मिलेगा और वी नो दैट वी हैव रेड डेफिनेशन ऑफ एल इन डिटेल द स्मॉलेस्ट नंबर दैट इज मल्टीपल ऑफ एनी सेट ऑफ नंबर इज एल राइट सो दिस इज अ डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ एल we have to find lcm of these five numbers then we have to ensure we have to find a multiple of lcm which is greater than 1000 then we have to add 3 over there so that will be the required number that will satisfy this condition simple si cheez hai ab hum iska jo hai lcm nikalte hain to uske liye hum we will do prime factorization of this thing ये पांच नंबर्स का प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन है फिर हम वही सेम चीज करेंगे सारे फैक्टर्स को यहाँ लिख देंगे तो एलसीएम बन जाएगा जैसे टू है टू इज कमिंग वन टाइम ओवर हेयर टू इज कमिंग टू टाइम ओवर हेयर एंड टू इज कमिंग वन टाइम ओवर हेयर सो सिंस टू इज कमिंग टू टाइम इन प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन ऑफ ट्वेल्व वील रेट टू टाइम्स टू अब थ्री के लिए यहाँ पे थ्री दो बार आ रहा है यहाँ पे भी थ्री दो बार आ रहा है तो एट मैक्सिमम थ्री इज कमिंग टू टाइम इन प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन सो दैट्स टू टाइम अभी तक आप समझ गए होंगे कि जो नंबर जितनी बार सबसे मैक्सिमम जितनी बार रिपीट होता है उतनी बार हम उसको एलसीएम में रिपीट कर देंगे जैसे यहाँ पे कोई एक नंबर आता है जिसमें थ्री चार बार रिपीट हो रहा हो थ्री चार बार रिपीट हो रहा हो फ्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन में तो हम यहाँ पे एलसीएम में चार बार थ्री लिख देते हैं वी हैव डन टू वी हैव डन थ्री एन फाइव इज कमिंग ओनली वन टाइम ओवर दिस इज दिंग दिस इज द एल सी एम राइट इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई दिस नंबर वी विल गेट वन Multiplication of this number is 180. Okay, so I am removing all of this now. So what we have said till now, LCM of these five numbers are 180. LCM of these five numbers are 180. Now what we have to do? It is a very simple thing. We saying we need to find a multiple of LCM, and then that should be greater than thousand, and then we have to add three so that a remainder of three is uh, we get a remainder of three when we divide the number. By these three, five numbers. Like, but we have to do to find the LCM. We found a, uh, we have to find a multiple of 180 that is greater than 1000. So we can do into two. We'll get some number 360. That is smaller than 1000. We will do into three, into four, into five. Like, we have to find a multiple which is greater than 1000. Finally, we will multiply it by six and one. we will get 1080 this is multiple of our lcm this is a multiple of our lcm and this is greater than 1000 now we have to just add 3 to this so we will add 3 once we will get this this is our number we will we'll show a remainder of 3 when divided by all of these five numbers So this is a solution. Next question. Next question says, Sita and Geeta go for a swim after a gap of every two days and every three days, respectively. If on one January both of them went for swimming together, what will be the next time they will be going together? Right. So we saying that after a gap of two days, Sita is going for swimming. So Sita will be going for swimming in multiple of uh, 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 in dates which are multiple of two, right? Like uh, like first January, then we will add two. Then we got third January. Third January, Sita will be going for swimming. Then we will add next multiple of two. Third January plus two, or we can just write if we have to write in multiple form four. Four is the next multiple of two. Fifth January, Sita will be going for swimming. Then we will add six in first. Seventh January, right? So we have to add multiples of two in our initial date to get the dates on which Sita is going for swimming. Similarly, similarly for Geeta. 
So Gita is going for swimming on first. Then we will have add to three days over there. That is four. Then next multiple of three is six. That is seven. So Gita will be going on for, uh, fourth first, then fourth, then seventh, and so on in multiples of three. So for common, uh, so we need to find when they're going to uh, together. So it is very simple. They will be going together after first. After first, they will be going together when after a certain period of numbers and the certain period of days will be the uh, number which is multiple of both two and three. Since since we are, अब इसमें हम कर क्या रहे हैं? इसमें हम two के multiples add करते रहेंगे. तो फिर uh, सीता का हमको time मिलेगा कि जब वो next swimming पे जा रही हैं. और जब हम three के multiples add करते रहेंगे, तो हमको वो time मिलेगा जब गीता swimming पे जा रही हैं. तो जो उनका LCM होगा, अब उनका LCM जो हम दोनों में add करेंगे, तो वो सबसे closest number आएगा. वो सबसे पहली date आएगी first के बाद जब दोनों दोबारा swimming पे एक साथ जाएंगे. So very simple thing. We have to just find LCM of these two numbers, and we have to add the LCM in both the starting dates. That is first of January. Then we will get the date on which these two girls will again going together for swimming. These two girls are going swim, uh, together for swimming on first. An addition of LCM will get us the another date on which these two women will be going for swimming again together. So LCM of two and three is six, right? So adding six to both of them, we will get of seven. Of कौन सा महीना है ये जनवरी का महीना है सेवेंथ ऑफ जनवरी सो सेवेंथ ऑफ जनवरी इज द डेट ऑन विच बोथ ऑफ देम गोइंग फॉर स्विमिंग टुगेदर अगेन राइट दिस इज द क्वेश्चन अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन सो दिस इज द फाइनल क्वेश्चन दिस इज नॉट आस इन प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन पेपर बट दिस वाज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन एंड डायरेक्ट यूज ऑफ एलसीएम एंड एलसीएफ सो लेट अस रीड द क्वेश्चन वी हैव थ्री नंबर व्हिच आर को प्राइम Which are we got a keyword over here co prime to each other. Ask us that the product of the first two is five fifty one and the last two is one zero seven three. The sum of the three number is. We have three numbers and we know that all of them are co prime, such that the product of first two numbers are five fifty one and the last two numbers is one zero seven three. We have to find the sum of the three numbers. So co prime means. First of all, the thing is, what is co-prime? Co-prime means two numbers who does not have any common factor. Two numbers who does not have any common factor. So we know that highest common factor of any two number, let us say x y, highest common factor of any two number is let's say above the number, and we are seeing the two numbers does not have any common factor. So what can be the let's say of the two number one? Because one is smallest number, which is common factor of all the numbers. So there cannot be any other factor greater than one of these two numbers. So that's why HCF of this x y is one, right? So x y of co prime numbers is one. Or we can say numbers are co prime when their HCF is one. This is the same thing. This is the same thing. So we know that product of first two number is this, and product of last two number is this, and all the three numbers are co prime. We need to find the sum of the three numbers. It's a very very simple question. Let us imagine we have three numbers x, y, and z. We know that product of first two numbers x into y is 551, and product of the last two numbers that is y into z. Last two numbers are y into z, 1073. This is our equation one. This is our equation two. So when we divide one by two, we will get x y by y z is equal to 551 by 10. Seven three, right? And we can write, we can cancel y and y over here. We will get x by z, and we can cancel the common factors over here, and we will get nineteen by thirty-seven. Nineteen by thirty-seven, right? So till date, we have solved these two equations and came to the equation this thing. Now this is a very simple thing and a very very direct application of HCF. We know that the x and y, x and z are co-prime. That is, we don't have any other factor greater than one that is common to both x and z. X and z का one के अलावा और कोई factor ही नहीं है. And we know that ये these two numbers are co-prime. 
मतलब इंट को इससे ज्यादा सिंप्लीफाई नहीं किया जा सकता तो एक्स की वैल्यू 19 और जेड की वैल्यू 37 ही हो सकती है राइट right? अब हो क्या सकता है कि हम इसमें दोनों में टू मल्टीप्लाई कर सकते हैं है ना मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू बाई न्यूमिनेटर मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू इन डिनोमिनेटर टू विल बी कैंसिल रेशियो तो सेम रहेगा लेकिन इसमें x की वैल्यू जो है 38 हो जाएगी और इसमें z की वैल्यू जो है 74 हो जाएगी लेकिन ऐसा हो नहीं सकता क्योंकि अगर x की वैल्यू 38 अगर हमने 2 से मल्टीप्लाई किया x की वैल्यू 38 हुई एंड z इज 74 फोर सो होगा क्या कि x एंड z देन कैन नॉट बी को प्राइम बिकॉज दे हैव एन एच एम टू टू दोनों में कॉमन है सो दैट्स वॉट आई एम सेंग कि इससे ये सबसे सिंपलेस्ट फॉर्म है और यही एक्स जेड की वैल्यू है क्योंकि इससे बड़ा हो ही नहीं सकती इससे बड़ी अगर इफ यू टेक एनी वैल्यू ग्रेटर देन दिस थिंग देन दे हैव एच सी एफ दैट इज ग्रेटर देन राइट सो इस रेशियो से हमने कंक्लूड किया सिंस ये दोनों को प्राइम है तो इनकी वैल्यूज भी यही होंगी एक्स इज इक्वल टू नाइनटीन एंड जेड इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सेवन ये हमने कंक्लूड कर दिया है फिर उसके बाद हमको वाई निकालना है and it is a very simple thing we can use either this equation or this equation let us say we use this equation now dividing by x we will get both side by x and we know that x is 19 so 551 divided by 19 is equal to y and isko aap karke dekh lijiyega ye aata hai 29 ye aata hai 29 so ab humne sara solve kiya and we came to a conclusion that x विजिबल नहीं होगा मैंने ठीक तरह से लिखा केम टू कंक्लूजन एक्स इज 19 वाई इज 29 एंड आर जेड इज 37 राइट एंड व्हाट वी हैव टू फाउंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द सम ऑफ द थ्री नंबर्स क्लियरली एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस जेड इज 19 सम ऑफ द थ्री नंबर इज 19 प्लस 29 प्लस 37 एंड इसको ऐड करके देख लीजिएगा ये आता है 85. इट इज कमिंग 85. फाइव सो सम ऑफ द थ्री नंबर इज एटी फाइव एंड द थ्री नंबर आर दिस थिंग सो दिस इज द थिंग दिस इज द डायरेक्ट यूज ऑफ एच सी एफ एच सी एफ फैक्टर एंड वी वी हैव बीन इंट्रोड्यूस अ न्यू टर्म ओवर इट को प्राइम नंबर को प्राइम कुछ नहीं होता को प्राइम का मतलब है कि जो नंबर हैं उनका एच सी एफ वन होगा को प्राइम का मतलब उनके वन से बड़ा कोई और फैक्टर नहीं हो सकता दिस इज को प्राइम so this are the three number and this is the answer right thank you